So skid control, it really falls into three basic sections. The first one is knowing when you're in a skid, being able to detect when your car's skidding. Because what we find is people aren't always aware of when a car's in a skid. And when that's the case, usually by the time a person is aware, it's too late. It seems such a, a difficult situation that it's not possible to get out of the skid. So the first thing is detecting that you're in a, in a slide. The second one is adjusting the steering, being able to, to point the steering back into the direction that you want to go because the car has, has obviously skidded, it, it, it's moved its trajectory and you need to adjust that and make sure it's not heading towards an obstacle or another car. And the third element is doing something with your feet because often the skid is instigated by you're doing something wrong down there, maybe too much throttle or too much brake. So it, it happens to be raining today, but we have a water system, so our skid control area is always wet. And we're able to save a bit of water today. And when you come onto the skid area, turning, feeling sliding, compensating with the steering, keeping the steering pointing where I want to go, and keep looking where I want to go as well. That's that's one of the important things that you learn on the skid control course, is to keep looking where you would like to go. Often in a, an emergency situation. The natural thing to do is to look at the telegraph pole, look at the car, or the bus, or whatever you might hit. Unfortunately, what happens then is you tend to steer towards them. So what you learn on the course is to look at the gaps, to look at where you would like to go, and then the car will go in that direction. You'll subconsciously steer there, and you'll stay in control. I'll just do that once more. You can see, coming to the corner, that it's sliding, so I can feel a slide there, I can say I'm looking and pointing the steering in that direction. And also, because this is front wheel drive, I'm using some throttle, because by putting the power on, I'm putting weight and grip onto those back tyres. And the tyres that need the grip, the rear end slides, get onto a little bit of throttle. So it's coming into the corner, first thing, detecting what's going on, really compensating, a little bit of power and looking where I want to go as well. And then the car stays in control, stays on the road. So those three phases, detecting the skid, adjusting the steering and balancing with your feet, that's what you learn on one of our skid control courses. So if you want to improve your skid control skills, be able to drive in, in difficult conditions and stay in control yourself onto one of our skid control courses. This video was filmed at our York venue which uses a wet skid pan. But some of our skid pan centres also use a car fitted with a special skid frame. But whichever centre you choose we can promise you the same high level of expertise and a great day out.